The Canon EOS R was released in 2018, right around the same time that Sony released its a7 III. And on paper, it was underwhelming to a lot of people, especially video shooters, myself included. But a few months after its release, I found myself getting a little bored and wanted to try something new, so I gave it a spin. And pretty much immediately, I got this feeling of, wow. I was completely wrong about this thing. Most of the time I could read the specs on something and see a few different people's reviews and make a good judgment on whether I'm interested or not, even if I haven't tried it myself. But I was way off with the Canon EOS R. <laughs> Since upgraded to the Sony A7S III and the FX3 for the 10-bit video and the 4K 120, but I just found myself weirdly missing the Canon EOS R recently. So I reached out to my good friends over at B&H Photo and asked them to send me over one along with the RF 24 to 70 f 2.8, which is what you're looking at right now, and the RF 14 to 35 f4, which is surprisingly a really great lens and i've been using this camera non-stop for the past two weeks and i'm fully convinced that this is still a great pickup in 2022 and 2023 here's 10 reasons why number one is image quality the 1080p on this camera looks amazing it looks so good that you can upscale to 4k and nobody would ever know the difference number two cheap storage i was able to use one of my old ass cheap Samsung micro SD cards from like six years ago with both the 1080p video and 4K and the card costs like $39 for 256 gigs. The cards that I use for my Sony FX3 cost anywhere between $150 to $500 depending on the storage size and the type of card that it is. So cheap storage is a huge plus. Number three, the 4K crop factor. When you shoot in 4K on the EOS R, it has a 1.75 times crop. All right, I just turned off digital IS. Right now we're in 1080p full width now look how much it crops in when we switch over to 4k all right now we're in 4k digital is is still turned off and we are still at 14 mil and we're fully extended and you could see this pretty big crop here and at first it definitely sounded like a bad thing but as we already established in this video the 1080p which you're looking at right now looks amazing and can easily be upscaled to 4k so with that being said it's pretty sweet to be able to flip over to 4k mode on this camera and get some extra reach out of your lens good stabilization one of the initial things that turned people off about the canon esr when it first came out was that it didn't have ibis but it turns out that canon's digital stabilization works really well plus a lot of the rf lenses are stabilized so that mixed with the digital is actually works really well together. Number five, easy to edit, really easy to edit. One of the downsides of having a newer flagship camera is the file sizes are huge and sometimes they could be really tough to edit. But the EOS R files actually edit really easy. So you can go out and save a lot of money on a cheap Apple M1 first gen computer, like a Mac mini, which is still what I use to edit my videos or a MacBook Air. And you can get those really cheap right now and even cheaper used or refurbished. And those machines chew right through any of the footage coming out of the ESR. This video was actually uploaded in 4K. I used an amazing program called Video Enhance AI by a company called Topaz. This video isn't at all sponsored by Topaz. I bought this program with my own money. I just think it's a great sidekick for the Canon EOS R. Speaking of sponsors, I'm not sure if you guys know, but Artlist actually owns Artgrid as well as Motion Array. And all three have amazing promotions happening right now. For Artlist and Artgrid, they're offering their exclusive all-in pack free for their customers, and it's pretty sweet. This pack includes five film mats, seven glitch effects, five LUTs, 16 motion graphics, seven pro film grains, 
30 sound effects, five VHS overlays, a shot list template, and a storyboard template. They work with every video editing software and both Mac and PC. And you can take advantage of this pack free just by starting up a new trial. Plus, if you use my link in the description below, you'll have a free two extra months added to your subscription. And for Motion Array, they're offering a $50 discount to new customers right now. All three platforms are amazing and super affordable. And I'm not really sure how long these promotions are gonna last, so I would head over there now and just sign up for a free trial. Again, link in the description below. Number six, the flip screen. I know most new cameras have flip screens at this point, but when the EOS R came out, a lot of cameras of that time period didn't. And if you're looking to pick up a little bit of an older, less expensive camera, it might be a little bit harder to find yourself a flip screen. And the screen is really great on ESR. It's super responsive. It's just like playing with a smartphone. And I love the interface because you could actually reach up on the fly and change your ISO aperture or shutter speed just by touching them, which is something that I really wish Sony would adopt. Number seven, great battery life. That's all I got. There's no other way to explain it. This camera has great battery life. Number eight, you have a great lens selection. The RF lineup got pretty stacked pretty quick. I mean, it's still missing a few lenses here and there that I'd like to see added to the lineup, but it's a nice selection. Plus all the R cameras adapt to the older EF lenses really easy and really well. So lens selection is not gonna be a problem at all with this camera. Number nine, C-Log, we're almost there. C-Log and 10-bit video. This one's a twofer. You could shoot C-Log on the EOS R in both 1080p and 4K and they're in 8-bit. And the video still looks great. This is again, what you're seeing right now. You might not notice, but you can shoot 10-bit C-Log on an external recorder using something like an Atomos Ninja. 8-bit still looks great, but the 10-bit option is there if that's something you're interested in. And lastly, value. This is a full-frame camera that's in the crop sensor price range. Right now it goes for $15.99 brand new on B&H. Again, I'll leave links down below, but you could also find this camera online used. I've seen it for like between 11 and 1200. I think that's a great deal for a great hybrid camera. And I would say that this camera is among the best in that price range. But what are your thoughts about the Canon ESR in 2022? Do you own one? Are you maybe thinking about picking one up? I know I am. I'm thinking about buying this camera again and using it kind of just as a side camera. Thank you, Artlist, for sponsoring today's video. Thank you, B&H, for sending over these toys for me to play with. Again, I'll leave links to everything down below. I'll also have links for my Salute Love Pack. And if you're interested, the last of the Stay Focused and the Stay Balanced tees, once they're gone, they're gone. I got, I got a little stack left, so whatever sizes are there, once they're gone, I'm probably never going to bring them back again. So links down below for that if you want to check them out i'll ship right away thank you guys for watching i hope you have a great week i'll see you guys next time yeah i can't believe i finished that without the battery dying holy crap it's been flashing for 20 minutes